Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a vid snatcher review for you. This is an online video editor tool that is comparable to Camtasia Studio, except it's all online. Basically, that means you can use this tool no matter where you're at, as long as you have access to the internet and a computer without any software to download, making it really, really nice for online marketers. So what I'm going to do in this video is I want to take you through this online video editing tool, show you how it works, give you a little demo of it. But first, under this video, you're going to find some links. There's going to be a link that will take you to my website where you can learn about the pricing, the upsells, and even pick up some amazing bonuses if you happen to buy VidSnatcher through my website. So let's jump in here so I can go ahead and give you a full demo. Now, when you log in, this is the first thing you're going to see, and that's the option to choose between a square video or a standard. We're going to go ahead and just do a standard video because most of mine I use for YouTube. You got to remember this is an online tool, so because it is internet based, it may take a little bit more time to go from one thing to the next, but overall it performs very, very well. So as you can see here, it looks like a normal video editor. In fact, to me, it looks better than most. Very clean, very neat, very easy to use, uh, especially for those of you who don't need all the bells and the whistles from a video editor tool. Okay, so you can see here that on the left hand side we have all of our media content. This is where you're going to either add a URL to import media, you can upload it, or you're going to be able to choose from icons, from text, from graphics, you can choose effects to add to your images, you can add audio music which is included, and you can even do something really cool which is create your own text and then translate it into different languages and have it read in a lot of different languages and a lot of different accents uh, just really really incredible because no other tool uh, video editor tool that I've seen has something like this built into it now you do have to remember too some of these features may or may not be available based upon the upsells that you purchase with vid snatcher so be sure to check out my site so you fully understand those upsells before you purchase okay so this here is going to be showing our video content as we're making changes to it over here is our project properties where you're going to select your canvas size. You can go clear up to 4K or you can even do a custom size and even choose your canvas color here. Now up here at the top we have some links. Media resources where you can import free stock photos from Pexels and Pixabay. Your videos you have, your projects. Uh, export after you save it. And then over here is where it's going to have your account information and where you can get further training. Um, which shows you step by step how to do everything that you're going to need to know because I'm sure there's going to be things that I'm going to miss showing you in here. Down here at the bottom is your track where you're going to drag all your media, your video files, your images, audio, all of that. And you can even stack it and layer it on top of one another, how many ever you want, which makes it great that way you can have layers and certain things showing on top of other things. Okay, over here are your options for uh, redoing, undoing, copying, cutting, pasting, uh, uh, breaking, zooming in and out of your track. You can record voiceover. So if you have a video made but there's no voice to it, you can play your video uh, while you're recording your voice so you can be in sync with it. And there's also the option here to record your screen uh, or your desktop. And it'll record your microphone along with it. It will not record your webcam and your desktop at the same time. A lot of you don't like to have your face on camera, so this works perfect for you. There's also a remove green screen option down here. I've tried using this. It's kind of difficult to use. Um, there's some settings you can adjust, but what I recommend is if you use the remove green screen, you make sure your green screen is as close to one solid color as possible and not different shades of green. Uh, it'll work much better that way and you can also upload subtitles. So what I'm gonna do is just real quickly, I'm gonna import a short video clip that I made. And what this is, is just um, a short like one minute demo video, probably not even that, of my upcoming product called WP Affiliate Suite. And it has, uh, the video is done, it has music and just video. And if I move this marker, you can see as it goes through the video, actually it's only about 12 seconds long. Um, but you can see here, this is all it is, is text, a few, a few pictures, and some music. Okay, so what I want to do is maybe spice it up a little bit, add a few things to it. Let's just say, for example, the first thing I want to do is this is going to be my background, okay? So I want to stack things on top of this video so they show up. So I want to make sure this layer is clear on the bottom, and then I'm going to lock it. 
Okay, so this layer cannot be moved and everything I put is going to be on additional layers on top showing up on top of this video. So what we can do is we can come up here and let's just pick out one of these. So we got icons here. You can even choose animated um, icons, but you have to upgrade to the VS animation suite to get that. And I'm just going to, let's just pick out this one. And you're, you want to click it and drag it. So we're going to take it, drag it over here and drop it. And then we can click it and we can move it around. We can grab the corners, which are kind of hard to see. And we can resize it and put it right where we want it. Now down here on the timeline, you'll see where it's at. And we can move this. So if we don't want it starting as soon as the video starts, we can move it a little bit. So it starts maybe uh, one second after the video starts. And then we can come over and add, add some text. Let's just do something. Um, grab your copy from wpaffiliatesuite.com. And then I can choose a different language. So if I want this to be con converted to like Spanish or French or something like that, I can choose that. Let's just do French, translate, and you can see that it translated the text here. So if I want to add that, that's the way it's going to show on my video. But what I want to do is keep it in English. Let's translate it back. We'll do able font size. I don't know. We'll just do say 18 and just do it that way and click add text. And you can see there it put it. Um, we'll just leave right here to talk for now. And then what I can do is I can move this text closer to the end of the video. And then we can add some shapes if we want to. So the in effects and out effects, these are really neat. So let me move my marker down here over the first animation. So this one here. And let's say we want this animate this image to be animated or slide in or out. What we can do is make sure we have a click down here. We can choose this option and say from right. And you can see what it's going to do. Do that. We can zoom in or out. Zoom in. I like zoom in. We'll just leave it that way. And then I can move it on over to the text up here, which you can't really see very well. Let me drag it down here at the bottom. And we can click on animations. And let's say slide from left. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, so now we have that. And we can add music, which I already have music to it, so I'm not going to worry about that. But there, it comes preloaded with a lot of music. And you can, you can preview it. Uh, and you can just click add. And it'll drop it down here and add it on your timeline. And then this tool here, I really want to talk about because I've never seen anything like this tool in a video editor. And for many of you that does promotions, especially in different languages or countries, this is going to be amazing for you because what you can do is basically type in any text you want here and you can translate that text to any language. And then you can have it read by male or female. Um, I usually leave this on wave because it just sounds better. Um, you can choose a language from a person. So let me just go ahead and just do let's do welcome to my video and then we can say i want it read i want it in french so i choose translate okay so now it's in french now what i can do is i can either have someone who sounds like they're french reading it we'll just choose french female click search voices and let's just choose this one and listen Bienvenue sur ma vidéo. Try this one. Bienvenue sur ma vidéo. Okay. Uh, or I can say, okay, I want this to be in French, but I want it read by somebody who's Arabic. So we can do that. Choose search voices. Bienvenue sur ma vidéo. So there's all different ways you can mix and match different languages to have it read in different languages by male or female with different accents. It's just really really cool so if you uh, if you want to be promoting in different languages uh, this this is great and you can just add that here um, actually I didn't do that let's go ahead and do search and let's go ahead and add to media okay and then down here I can drag it to my media bin and what I want to do is have this show up near the end of the video when that text shows up uh, just because so we'll do that Scroll up some. There we go. Okay, so let's just play it from here. So that's how you do it. Now, obviously, I, I wouldn't want to edit this some. I'd want to turn down the audio so you can hear the voice. And, you know, you want you want to fix it up the way you want it. But I just wanted to show you the, the types of options and features that were available in this. Um, now, over here, too, I forgot to tell you that 
if, if you click on different objects it gives you options over here so if you click on text you can align it you can change the opacity of it you can have it say um, show up like this in a stitched box in a glossed box uh, there's just all different ways that actually looks really nice um, text we can do something like that put it up in the corner How, however you want to do it uh, there's just so many things to this that makes it so nice if we click on an, an image we can have we can align it, position it opacity uh, or, or even scale it to the canvas size so as you can see here that you can do a lot of stuff with this tool and being online even makes it that more accessible uh, so you don't have to have software to download or really matter where you're at or what computer you're using so but this is vid snatcher guys I think it's a great tool for video marketers um, you know you may or may not need all the features and options that are available to it you know buying the front end may be more than enough for you and that's great if it is uh, but if you want all the additional features just be sure that you check out what those upsells are and the pricing of them they'll all be on my website the links under this video and you'll also be getting those bonuses on my website if you pick this up through my website so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got questions or comments please leave them below I will try to get to them as soon as I can otherwise I'd really appreciate it if you uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of other video tutorials and reviews that I do for you guys